Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Shantae Marie here, and I am a military lifestyle vlogger here on the tube. So, thank you guys so, so much for tuning into this video today. I wanna go ahead and start off by saying what your girl always says. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can continue to see more videos like this. And if you haven't done it already, we're gonna hurry up and wait until you get it done. So did you guys hit that subscribe button yet? Did you? Did you? Did you? Okay, so now that you guys are part of the team, we can go ahead and jump further in to today's topic. Make sure that you guys leave me a comment in the comments below. I really enjoy talking to you guys after every video. It just like brightens my day to look at my phone and see notifications from you guys and like to see what questions you have. And that's kind of how today's video came about. I'm not gonna lie, I've been seeing some of my favorite YouTubers, well, my favorite like military YouTubers doing this video. So I wanted to make mine just slightly different and base my responses off of the questions that I received from you guys. So I get so many questions from you guys about things that I feel like people should know before they join the military. And since I'm answering them anyways, I figured I would just go ahead and make this video. And if I continue to receive more questions, I can make another video similar to this one. The first one is going to be, a recruiter told me that the only jobs they have open are X, Y, and Z. What do I do? Key thing here, people, don't sign a contract. If you're okay with doing what they picked for you, then by all means, go ahead and sign it. But if you are dead set on a job and that's the job that you want to do, don't join just to join. Reclassing took me seven years to get a reclass. So I did exactly that and let my recruiter pick my MOS, which I didn't mind my MOS anyways. But the biggest thing that I can tell you is do not sign a contract just to be out here signing a contract. If you're dead set on being, I don't know, like a military police officer, then do you. You're joining this for whatever reason that you have, your personal reason why you're joining, nobody else's. So. Pick the MOS that you want to do. And if it's not your time, it's not your time. Yeah, the bit that's like one of the biggest tips that I have because I, I get told that this happens a lot. Number two is going to be to set goals. You wanna make sure you're always setting goals. Uh, before you join the military, one of your goals is obviously to join the military or Maybe your goal is to pass the ASVAB test. Having goals is just gonna help you to be a successful soldier anyways because you wanna make sure you're setting goals for yourself and like giving yourself something to strive for. People oftentimes talk about how they get stagnant in their careers and even if you're just joining the National Guard or the Reserves, you still wanna set goals even though that's one week in a month. Like. Setting goals helps you to just be a better person in general. It helps you to have motivation, determination. Not only that, but when other people see you accomplishing those goals, as well as when you accomplish it just for yourself, that should be the all the more motivation to really do the best job that you possibly can. So set goals, smash them, achieve them, you know. I be setting them all the time. Like I literally have in a list, like this notebook, all the, the front pages, all of these are full front and back with, with goals and just things that I wanna do for YouTube. So, and that's just my YouTube career. So make sure you're doing that. Mm -hmm. Blend. Okay, the next thing I wrote was don't ball out. I have a hair. Don't ball out. When I say don't ball out, I mean, when you join the military, first of all, you go to basic training, you get paid all that money, and you don't have anything to spend it on while you're there. So then you get out and it's like, holy shit, I have like two, $3,000 in my bank account. Um, and your first reaction, like that first time that you get to leave AIT and like go do things like, everyone goes to the mall. Everyone goes to the mall. Like, 
don't do it to yourself. Don't go spending money that you really don't need to spend. It's nice to give yourself things once in a while. Like you just graduated basic training. Like buy yourself something, treat yourself. But you do not need to go ball out. Same as when you finish AIT and you go to your duty station or go to do what you do. You do not need to go buy a car with a freaking like eight, five to eight hundred dollar payment every single month. Like, if you are not established, honestly, to me, like now that I'm more mature than I was back then, like I see people still that are like younger than me in the military, whatever, and I see them buying cars and stuff that I know their payment has to be through the roof and their interest rate is probably through the roof as well. And like, I'm like, where, where is your, like, where's your parents? Like, this is me being Sergeant Mom right now. I try to see the things that I've done and like help for other people not to have to experience that or, and I know some things like you just have to go through and learn the hard way. But if I had something to say right now, like if your ass is living in the barracks and you're doing over a $500 payment a month, like that's your money. You make your money, you do what you do. But just like advice from a 27 year old who has freaking experienced and seen some things, like save your money and don't do that. Because what happens when you want to buy a house and saving that $600 a month car payment to buy a home. And not only that, but let's not forget that your credit is complete shit. These car dealerships that are around military bases, like they know what they're doing and they know, they know that you're just like happy. Like I have a career. I'm doing this. I'm doing me. I have thousands to spend, but life is a completely different ball game when you are not like living in trade off and you're not, on a military base, especially for National Guard soldiers. Like, a lot of people forget that like you come home to nothing. After every single military thing you do, you come home to your regular job, your regular paycheck, if you even have that, and then like you have this like $800 freaking car payment a month and your interest is at 8%. Let me like, my interest rate on my vehicle right now is 2%. Anything above, four to five is so, do not do it. That's all I'm gonna say. Don't do it. I ain't hating you if you do do that, do you? But word of advice, if you haven't done that, don't do it because you do not want to screw yourself when you're older and like realize you wanna like do some things. And number four, four <laughs> is to understand your status and by that I mean to understand your status as a military service member. I briefly touched on it in another video about how like my social media before I received my full time position and, and I'm sure even now is heavily scrutinized um, by the powers that be like the people that determine whether or not I get to work full time for the National Guard. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I have no shame. I have no hide. Like I have nothing to hide about what I share on social media. Like I know that I am making a difference by using this platform to talk to you guys about the things that I talk about. Um, but a lot of people join the military and love to still like voice their opinion. And there's just some things like do not like don't silence yourself but be weary of people that see that because even if you think it's like only you you don't know if joe's telling sam really understand your role as a soldier when you put this uniform on um you are being watched like whether you like it or not i mean you're being watched by isis you're being watched by the four-year-old down the street who sees you and it thinks to themselves like i want to be in the army when i grow up like just little things like that. Just always remember, even if you don't want to be a leader and you don't see yourself as a role model, like Cardi B, she loves to like say like, I'm not a role model. I'm not here to be a role model. Like whatever, cool. Like I agree with that, but like certain jobs, whether you like it or not, 
you are seen in that light. And I definitely feel like the military is one of those things like, one, people are looking to shoot you down every chance you get. They get like people who don't agree with the military. Um, I get told all the time, people love to say things about like my commander in chief. I always talk about like the president. I always say my commander in chief, like my commander in chief. Like I put this uniform on for a reason. I'm patriotic AF. Like I, you will never catch me posting on social media about anything in regards to that whether you agree or disagree with certain things that are done certain people anything like be weary about what you do what you say what you post what you tweet what you like what you retweet be weary of all of that because whether you like it or not when you put this uniform on you are a role model to someone even if you don't think you are you are and that's just something that I want you guys to remember. So when you think about joining the military, if you think you're gonna stay back and live your hood rat lifestyle or do the things that you're doing on the low, like you never know who's watching. And I just, just, just know. The last one, number five, that I have is to use your benefits. And if it, the main one, like if it comes down to like school and you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna go to college, whatever, blah, 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 and you like have kids, like transfer that, transfer it. Like if you're on the fence, like don't tell me you're gonna sit there and be on the fence for 20 years of service. Like transfer it to your kids, like really pay attention to the benefits that you have and use them. You're really gonna sit here and serve? You're gonna retire in the military and you didn't use a single benefit? Come on, like, use it. Um, that's basically all that I have to say. Um, I think I, I went about this a different way than most people do, but I really, I really think that these videos are a good idea for those of you on the fence about joining. As always, you guys can ask me anything you want. I am very vocal. Um, with my following, if you guys add me on Snapchat, Instagram, I always will message you back. Um, I'm not bougie. Somebody was like, oh my God, I can't believe you responded. You guys are people. I am a person. I make videos. You guys can make videos like anybody can make videos. I just want you guys to know what I know. I have so much information up here and like y'all, I'm only, I'm, I'm, I'll be eight years deep in the military next month. No, this month. It's October. Like, I got things to share and if you guys message me, I'm more than willing to talk. I love interacting with you. Leave me a comment down below. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.